A few years ago, I reviewed Samsung's S10 Plus phone, and now in 2023, I am reviewing Samsung's newest phone, the S23 Ultra. Keep in mind that this review is for this phone only. So what is there to say about Samsung's newest phone? For starters, there is a stylus pen included. A nice feature, but can be problematic for someone with big hands like me. At least you're saving on paper. Anyways, there are four variants of the S23 family. For the most part, it's basically RAM and storage. When it comes to the camera, there isn't a huge number of differences, but the Ultra has a 200 megapixel wide sensor, two 10 megapixel telephoto sensors, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. This table helps clear things up. Of course, the best result is to use the camera and see for yourself. The one feature the S23 Ultra has that the other two phones don't is that the S23 Ultra has a periscope telephoto lens. It's just like a submarine periscope. If you're on the market for a new phone, the S23, no matter which model, does the job just fine. Be prepared to fork over at least $800 unlocked. One last thing before I forget is that there is no headphone jack on the S23 Ultra. If you have Bluetooth earbuds, you're in business. The S23 Ultra gets four weird pictures out of five.